hate to bring up Germany as an example, but it really is such a great example because before the 1920s and 1930s, Germany won almost every Nobel Prize. And then afterwards, they haven't won a lot. It took them a while to crawl back. And we're seeing that happening with American institutions. The UC system has a hiring freeze. Right. Um, JPL has let go of 500 of their staff. Right. I mean, it's just... It's just nuts, dude. Like, I fear that it's going to take us decades to to come back from this. One of the things that has created this strategic advantage for the U.S., where we have been a dominant global power, driven not only by our military, but by our technology, because of our investment in fundamental science research. Yeah. We would not have dominance in air and sea with the Navy and the Air Force we would not have dominance where all of the biggest technology companies on the planet yeah, are here. Are here Exactly. It's like, it doesn't make any sense to me because this used to be, this used to be a bipartisan thing. That's what's okay? so interesting. We're going to be the best when it comes to science, okay? George Bush funded uh, the NASA's re-going to Mars and stuff like that. Uh, now, especially with the current administration, that is just like totally totally bankrupting us and it's really really rather unfortunate you know we're leading in nobel prizes yeah our universities are at the top but the current administration is just running scientists out of our country if you look at the nobel prizes from the u.s yeah and, even this year and who we led and who they are yeah and how they got to be american yeah omar yagi he was uh, an immigrant from jordan palestinian refugee came in, embraced this country, was supported by the DOE, was supported by the NSF, did an NSF postdoc fellowship at Harvard, and the NSF postdoc fellowship is now completely gutted. This thing that would take graduate students that were stars and put them at these top institutions to do postdoc research and gear them up for becoming top faculty members at our leading institutions. And now that thing is gutted. You know what's funny is the only reason that I am able to be in the U.S. is... You know, my dad did his postdoc at Harvard and federally funded grant program, been in science and nature, published multiple times, has multiple patents that are accruing value to yeah. multiple American companies. You know, yeah. I mean, same for my dad. I think it was an NOA fellowship. We first came to Huntsville, Alabama from India. He was working at the Marshall Space Flight Center for NASA, and then he got a tenure track position here in L.A., and now all of that is going down. It's just really, really quite insane to me that... This is happening at a countrywide scale. And it's not something that I think we should take lightly. Because, you know, Germany, I, I, I 